The information, audio, and visuals you are about to see are intended to provide details of an officer-involved shooting which occurred on the 18th of December, 2020, at about 4.28 p.m. in the 8700 block of Maria Angelica Street. Conclusions about the officer's actions with regard to law and policy will not be made until all facts are known and the investigation is complete. An investigation into the use of force is being conducted to determine whether the actions of the officers are in compliance with law, the criminal investigation, and department policy, the administrative investigation. At the conclusion of the criminal investigation, all of the details will be released to the Kern County District Attorney's Office for independent review. Bakersfield Police Department officers are equipped with body-worn cameras. The body cameras do not capture everything the officers saw or experienced and do not encompass the entirety of the investigation, which includes witness interviews, forensic processing, and administrative review. The footage is being released to the community in an effort to provide clarity and transparency. This video is graphic in nature and highly disturbing. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. On Friday, December 18th, at 4 o'clock p.m., officers were dispatched to an emergency call for service regarding an intoxicated adult male holding a firearm to his head. A caller advised that family members had attempted to take the firearm, however, were unsuccessful. At 4.10 p.m., due to the nature of the emergency call, a Kern County Behavioral Health and Recovery Services mobile evaluation team was dispatched to meet with officers who were staging in the area. The Mobile Evaluation Team, also known as MET, provides crisis intervention, voluntary and involuntary assessment for psychiatric hospitalization, and follow-up in the community. The first officer arrived in the area at 4.06 p.m. Prior to responding to the residents, officers responded to a nearby location to discuss strategy and speak with family members of the subject armed with the firearm. Due to the nature of the weapon involved and the fact that officers believed the subject was contained inside of the residence, at 4.10 p.m., two officers responded to the area of Maria Angelica Street to establish a visual of the involved residence to confirm that the subject did not flee into public with the firearm. So our game plan, just so we know, um, we got a perimeter around the house. We're waiting for Matt to get here. When Matt gets here, Matt's going to call him and try and figure out see if she can get him to come out of the house. Right now, nobody's in the house with him. He's in there alone with some dogs. Okay, right. so we're going to have to put one unit over here then. I think somebody just said there were 297. Yeah, King 8's here and Sima's here. Is there any, but... So do we okay, need somebody we're, we're going to need somebody to the... Uh, un, unless we can get a neighbor's... Go ahead and relay it. Well, if Brown you're cool go ahead with relay it over the, right the north being me here, uh, we wouldn't need ends here, and he can come around over there. Yeah, I thought... I can go to... Um, at 4.26 p.m., while officers were briefing and planning how to approach the static situation, a police officer assigned to watch the residence in the 8700 block of Maria Angelica Street arrived at the residence. He observed the front door of the residence open and saw the involved man standing in the roadway. Shortly after, the officer advised that he observed a firearm in the man's waistband. Due to the public safety risk of having an armed, agitated man in a public place, the officers who were staging nearby began to approach the man. This is the body camera footage from that initial officer who observed the man in the roadway. Hey, dear. Southwest corner of Maria Angelica and Giovanni. Uh, second half, uh, currently smoking a cigarette. Oh, affirmative. Uh, officers, at uh, just be aware. There's gardeners directly east of our primary. Uh, subject's reaching for a gun in his waistband. Gun in waistband. Get on the ground now! Show me hands! Uh, 
gun, give me gun, give me gun, give me gun. Where is he? Gun, gun, gun. Gun, gun, gun. gun. Uh, where you hit, where you hit? Ah, uh, leg, leg, leg. Yeah, I got turn it, turn it. Uh, I got it. All right, turn it. Turn Turn it, turn it. Watch it. Here, get it. I need to turn it. I got it. You need to turn it. I got you, I got you. One leg, one leg, one leg. Right leg, right leg. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. We got you. Cinch it in tight, nice and deep. No! No, we're gonna move him! No, we're gonna move him! We gotta move him! Keep going, keep going. Tighter, tighter. Yeah, yeah. We got it. We're gonna move! Keep an eyes on him! It's not tight. I got it, I got it. Stop, stop, stop. Do not reach for the gun! Let's go. I can't walk, just see him. I got you, I got you. Pull the car up, pull the car up. Let me get him, let me get him. Hold on, hold on. Let's Let's go. Go. Hold on, hold on. I got you, I got you. Uh, One, two, three. Ah, leg. I got you. Leg, leg, leg. I know, I know, I know. Right, right. Hold it, hold it. Ah, leg, 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 I know, leg, I got leg, you. Leg. Hold on. Just wait. We're almost there. Right, right. This is the body camera footage from an involved officer who initially attempted contact with the subject. Leg, leg, leg. Here, I got turn it. 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 Let's see your hands. Coast of three, channel two, coast of channel two. Maria Angelica. Put your hands in the air. Your hands in the air. Now. Yeah, you, put your hands in the air. Hang back, Tenario. Forest 50, he's uncooperative. Hey, put your hands in the air, bro. Gardeners to come, to come back. Get on 
the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! the dog! Hey! Behind! Behind! Hey! He's behind the green Honda! Behind the green Honda! I'm hit in a series! He's on the ground! Behind the Honda! Hey, hold on, hold on. Get an eyes on. It looks like he's on his uh, right side. He's still moving. Sir! I can't see, he's still moving. Crawl out to us! Drop the gun and crawl out to us! Drop the gun! Drop the gun and crawl out to us now! might have the gun on the far side of the car. I think that's maybe the magazine close to the back tire. Can we send the dog? No, our dog handler's down. No. I mean, no, he, he still might be armed. Started, and I need two units to get our officer out to medical aid at the school. What do you think getting eyes on around the white Ford? No, as long as he's staying there, let's hold right here and keep as much cover as we can. I've got him from here. All right. Right here, code four. I'm hit, but I'm good. Where are you at? I'm hit. On the arm. I think he's down. I see his left hand extended. Yeah. Hey. We're gonna hey. move. All right. Okay. We've got them. Okay, I've got good visual. Hands up and turn over to your stomach. His neck, his neck's right there. I, I think he's might be sitting on the gun right now in his uh, right hand. Can you see the gun on the sidewalk? Yes, we can. I can see the gun on the rock. Okay. Still an arm. Arms reach. I need We're I need a there. team to come around here. We might need a dog then if we're gonna try to move in. It might be. Where's BD at? I mean. Okay. Wouldn't be good sound. Our, hand, our, our, handler, our handler's down, right? We don't have a dog. Go. He's down. Okay. He's down. All right. If he, sees, if he sees the gun, we're gonna grab him by the ankles, pull him towards the street, and uh, control his hands immediately. Okay, me and Lugo will be lethal. Okay. All right, on my lead, everybody stacks behind me. You want me to move behind you? 
Do not move. Do not move. Four cell two. Start metal cane. He's on the ground. Here, here, here. Watch it, watch it, watch it, move. Here, get this. Hold this shit. I got you. You need a tourniquet, boys. I got you, I got you. The shooting took place in under two minutes from the time of first contact. Six officers discharged their firearms. All of the officers were equipped with body-worn cameras. One officer's camera was not activated until after all shots were fired. The man's firearm was recovered and later analysis indicated that he had fired nine rounds. Medical aid was rendered to the man within four minutes of the last gunshot. Medical aid was staged in the area prior to officers attempting contact. The man was transported to Kern Medical where he succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced deceased. Two officers were struck by the suspect's gunfire and survived their injuries. This is an ongoing investigation. Conclusions about the involved officer's actions with regard to law and policy will not be made until all facts are known and the investigation is complete. The Bakersfield Police Department's use of force policy, including deadly force policy, is available to the public at www.bakersfieldpd.us.